The Copilot is our latest wireless radio commander for simple wireless control of remote flash units. Two models are available, the QF91N for Nikon cameras and the QF91C for Canon cameras. A Copilot can send camera TTL signals to remote flashes with the ability to set and adjust multiple flash settings and ratios from your camera position. The Copilot can control up to three independent remote groups of flash units. A remote group can consist of a Quantum Trio and or a Quantum T5DR with an FW8R or FW7Q free wire receiver and or any flash with a sync cord plugged into a Quantum FreeX wire receiver. A remote group may consist of any number of remote flash units. Each of the remote groups can receive individual exposure settings from the co-pilot sitting in your camera's hot shoe. Before we can use the co-pilot, you'll need to install the battery, which is located on the bottom. Open up the battery door. Remove the battery door. Take your lithium CR123 battery, making sure it's installed properly. Take the battery door, slide it back up, click it in, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look at the controls on a Quantum Copilot. On the side, you'll have the indicator light. You'll have a on-off switch, including the autofocusing lamp switch, as well as an accessory connector for a local T5DR Q flash. We're now showing you the antenna side of the co-pilot. I have the antenna raised and please make sure you raise the antenna before using it. You'll see there's a channel selector dial allowing you to choose from channels 0 to 7. You also have a USB port for further updates. The co-pilot can control the exposure of up to three remote groups, R1, R2, and R3, or two remote groups, R1, R2, and a local T5DR flash. The dials will enable you to adjust the output of your remote flashes based on the mode switch position on the back of your co-pilot. Right now these switches are set to TTL and referring to the TTL ratio scale on the top of your co-pilot You'll see that my flash in R1 is set to a, a minus 1 value. My flash in an R2 setting will be set to a plus 1 value. And my flash in the R3 will be set to zero compensation. If the switches were set on the manual setting, you'll need to refer to the manual setting scale on the top. And based on the settings that I have on these dials, my flash in the R1 setting will be at 1 8th power. My flash in the R2 setting would be at half power. And my flash in the R3 group would be at quarter power. After installing the battery, you're ready to mount the cold pilot on top of your camera. Slide it into the hot shoe. Lock the thumb wheel down and lift the antenna and you're ready to go. If you're using a co-pilot with a trio, the trio should be set up first. On the trio, press the mode button, then press the left or right arrow button to select remote group. Press mode button again, then select one of the soft keys to choose R1, R2, or R3. Here I'm selecting it as remote group R1. Press the radio soft key button on the trio to set the radio channel. Note that we're on channel 3. All remote flash units must be set to the same channel number. 
If you're using a co-pilot with a T5D or T5DR flash, make sure the flash has either a FreeX wire FW8R or an FW7Q connected to it. Today we're going to be using an FW7Q free wire. You'll notice that we have our FW7Q attached to our T5DR flash. It's ready to receive the signal from the co-pilot, but before we can do that, we'll need to set it up. Hit the mode button once. Using the up or down buttons, scroll through the menu until you come to Wireless Remote Group R1 or Wireless Remote Group R2. We'll set this one to Wireless Remote Group R2. If you're using a co-pilot with any other flash, connect that flash to either a free XWire FW8R or an FW10W receiver using the sync cord from the flash to the sync out of the unit. Set the channel number on the receiver to the same channel set on the co-pilot. Using the zone switches on the receiver, set the desired group you want on. Example, zone 1 would be remote group R1 on your co-pilot, zone 2 remote group R2 on the co-pilot, and zone 3 remote group 3 on your co-pilot. The co-pilot when used with an external flash will provide only a sync signal to fire the flash. The co-pilot cannot control exposure on this external flash. The manual TTL switch on the co-pilot must be set to M. The co-pilot can control the exposure of up to three remote groups R1, R2, and R3, or two remote groups R1 and R2 and a local T5DR flash. If there is no local flash connected to the co-pilot's accessory connector, then up to three remote groups may be set up with each receiving its own exposure setting. Each remote group has two control settings on the back of the co-pilot, ratio manual power settings and TTL. When in the ratio manual setting, ratio settings can be set from minus two and two thirds to plus two. Manual settings can be set from less than sixteenth of power to full power one to one. The dial control also has an off position. When set in off position, flashes in that remote group will not fire. Here I have a local Q flash connected to the co-pilot. Using a FW31 cable, I'll plug into one of the outlets on the T5DR flash. The other end of the cable will then plug into the side of the co-pilot accessory connector. Group R3 becomes the local ratio control. A local Q flash may be models T5DR, T4D, T3D, or T2D. Remotes will operate in groups R1 and R2 only. QTTL ratio or manual power settings can be controlled by your R3 dial here. This control adjusts the ratio of the local Q flash when the Q flash is in QTTL mode. Ratio settings can be set from minus two and two thirds up to plus two. When using a local Q flash with your co-pilot, the R3 local mode switch will be disabled on the back of your co-pilot. The mode button on the local Q flash D series will override the mode setting. For more information on Quantum's co-pilot and other Quantum products, be sure to visit our website qtm.com.